we start with an E10 extension. We start on number one. It's going to loose them. Hold them. Before I take the caps, I just wanted to show you how the engine looks from, from above. So that's cylinder one, cylinder two, cylinder three, cylinder four, five. Six. We're going to take our first cap. Here's how the screws look. There's two. And this uh, torques and they don't have a uh, thread all the way. And this is how it looks. And so the numbers, the marks where it go should be on one side. So the numbers should be on one side of the caps and on the connecting rods, which is the side of um, the side of the we're gonna call it the driver's side and then on the engine on the cups there's a number that's the matching number then we just go ahead and we do that with all of them in in this case, we don't have to too much put them in order because they have a number. Uh, we, what I do is I make notes in a piece of paper I already write in which order they go. It's number one. So number one is the SV. Okay. And so number two is going to be T U T J. So number two is going to be T T J. Number three is AK. Number four 
is C. Sorry, is G G C. Number five E I. Number six, G, S. I put the center block so that I can pull the crankshaft, the real crankshaft. I know I've been <laughs> saying crankshaft all the time. They're all crankshafts. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, and then so I grab it, grab it firmly with a flywheel and I should be able to just lift so we're gonna rotate the engine to not drop any so that we don't drop any pistons see if I can find a hole here From here we should just be able to push the pistons. First number one. And it goes the arrow goes like this because the uh, letters they go on this position okay this is the letters and so they go like this and this should be a narrow here but it's not visible um, this is the letters that matches the cap so again you don't going to miss the order of the pistons because you already know they have a letter and they match the caps so sv is number one so now we're gonna pull number two number two so same the arrow should be pointing towards the front of the car but uh, I don't see it on this one and then there's the letters And also when you when you're pushing the um, pistons make sure you don't hit the nozzles so you may want to turn it a little bit so that it doesn't hit so number three and yeah there's the arrow right there It also has the stamp on one side. Yeah, it's right there. It's about right here. But uh, let's see if the other one, this is also much as the, uh, what is this, EK? Yeah, EK number three. Let's see if I got it right. Yes. 
And also, as you know, like you've seen, if you've seen other people talking about, this is like a forge um, connecting rod. And so somehow with the machine, they break, they break it as one piece, but they break it. And so you can see it's not perfectly, the seam is not a flat seam. So it matches, it would only match its own valve. The cap would only match its own um, connecting rod. Okay. This is how the uh, bearings look. Again, I'm just pushing. Let's see, I think this is better. There's the arrow, and there's the stamp. The stamp is marked on the parts, uh, metal parts of the engine, so they can scan them. I think they scan them act with an actual laser, like a laser from a CD player. Something similar like that, and they read the stamp. JC number four. The match is number four. Voila. Okay, there's number five. This is much, much better. There's the stamp and the arrow. So before I do it, take the last one. I just want to show you how it just just push, and we make sure we don't hit that nozzle. Keep pushing. See how I could hit that if I'm not careful, and. That's how it goes. That's number six with an arrow stamp. And also there is a stamp in there. Also another thing I wanted to point out is the trust. The trust uh, washer for uh, I seen a lot of builds where they forget this uh, when they're building it. So one thing that it uh, keep in mind, it goes on the center of the block. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you count one, two, three. The four one has it from left to right or one, two, three, the four one from right to left. I don't know if I hope that makes sense, but it goes on the center. And so I'm just gonna show you the bearings, main bearings. The way I take them out is I push them a little bit down. And then I take them out. I try not to drag them inside there. I don't want to scratch the surface of the bearing. Okay. So we just push a little bit and take it out. This one too. Pull. This is the trash washer. Okay, and this is how it looks with the block with nothing.
is how it looks.